morning everyone. Um, I'm going to do a video today um, using chalk paste on a pair of old jeans of mine. Chalk paste there, probably backwards on the screen, not sure. Um, basically, I'm, I'm not doing a live because it's easier if I stop and start if I do a normal video and then I'll post it when it's all done. Um, I'll just show you. There's a pair of jeans, they're my kind of cropped summer jeans. And I got a bit of glue or varnish or something round by the knee that I can't get off. And it's not too obvious, but I just thought, oh, I'm going to play with a chalk paste um, and a stencil and just create kind of a hippie chick design. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do that with the chalk paste. So uh, apologies if I'm sniveling through the video. The pollen's really high in the last couple of days. And it doesn't matter how many times I blow my nose or anything or tablets I take, I'm still sniveling. So... Um, so if I don't realise I'm doing it, I apologise. So what I'm going to do is get my bits ready. Here's the jeans. I'm going to put a bit of cardboard inside the leg of the jeans. Now denim's quite thick, the short paste shouldn't go through. But also it helps keep it flat anyway. But if you're doing um, if you're doing a design on, say, a cotton pillowcase, um, or sort of cushion cover, something like that, obviously the, the, the fabric is finer. So it may go through, I'm not sure. So, But for a nice flat surface, a bit of cardboard would be handy anyway. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get organised, come back to the video and show you the process. Okay? Okay, so this is my paste. I've kind of spread them out on a, a mat here. I don't have a paper plate, so um, I'm just going to mix them together. I'm not doing leaves green, flowers, cranberry, anything like that. I'm just going to kind of mix it all together. Um, I'm using the Royal Anne Garden um, stencil, stick and style stencil on this. That's it in place. Pot of paint there to hold the jeans in place. Nice full posh, technical stuff. And um, a little silicone spreader here. You can use a credit card or something like that. This is nice because it's a bit of spendy. So I'm going to get started with this. And fingers crossed it's going to work. Okay, hopefully you can see this okay. So. Um, see there, I've just kind of got it on my little spreader, so nothing technical, and I'm going to start applying it. Yeah, how am I going to start applying it? <laughs> Good question. Now just let it be known that I'm not worried about mucking up these jeans. <laughs> just say that now. So if it goes horribly wrong, and I'm recorded doing it horribly wrong, you know what, it's not the end of the world. Now maybe if I, maybe I should have gone down that way, not sure. So you kind of learn as you go, hope you can hear me okay. I'm kind of mixing all the colours in, so I don't mind about that. I don't want set set colours going on. I'm not going to go too far. The little stain is here, so I'm probably going to work a little bit over. I think what I'll do when I do this, I'll have to dry it with the hair dryer. Um, So concentrate in there. Um, I'll give it a zap with the hair dryer to dry it quickly, so that I can reposition the the, the stencil and then continue with my design. Um, and overlap it, and I'm not going to the edge here. Cause, sorry, can you see? I'm not going right to the edge here because where I I previously used this part of the stencil before, so I cut there. So I'm not using that because I don't want a don't want a fixed line either. I want it kind of natural design. So okay, you lift it off. Let's go for it. Oh, smudged a bit there. And you can wet wipe handy. Any bits you smudge while it's still wet. 
Um, so I'm concentrating on what I'm doing. I'm not even looking at the phone, which is recording. Okay, right, we're we ready for the big reveal. Fingers crossed, haven't messed it up. Okay. Yeah. The red has kind of taken over, the cranberry. I suppose it's kind of a... Mix it up too much, really. Let me just stick that thing out of the way. Yeah, I probably went too heavy with the red. The green and the white doesn't really show up. Although it looks better on the, the camera than it does to my naked eye. Um, yeah, so, okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish doing that. I won't record that all, because it could be there forever. And then I'm gonna kind of just put it all together and then show you. I've got to work over here. This is where I actually, very saggy here for some reason. Um, that's where I've got a little bit of glue on, so I've kind of probably maybe been design out there a bit. Maybe. I'll, I'll see, I'll see. Um, so that's it. Now with the chalk paste, obviously I'm going to dry that with a hairdryer, you can let it dry naturally. And then to heat seal that for washing, I can either on the reverse, when it's dry, iron it. Obviously put a bit of greaseproof paper on your ironing board. Um, so I can heat seal it with an iron, or I can throw... Um, the garment into a tumble dryer and heat seat it that way or heat set it I should say and then obviously then these can be washed at I think they recommend 30 degrees I tend to put my colors in at 40 so I'll probably test it at 40 to be honest um, but yeah so once heat set once dry then heat set with an iron or a tumble dryer it can be washed so yep I'll do some more show you the pictures and we'll see how we go. Okay, so I did a little bit more over here um, that I didn't record. So, and now I'm, there's a side seam. So now I'm just gonna go around the back a bit. Um, so not obviously as you're wearing the jeans, it's not just the front. Um, it's just sort of flowing around towards the back. So I'm just reusing the same bit. Now I have dried this with a hairdryer. Dries very quickly. Um, some of this might be a little bit tacky. Um, so I'm going to, now you have to kind of be, when here I was overlapping because um, the the design will repeat if you're going lengthways, but obviously because I'm moving to the side, um, you kind of just have to play with that a bit um, and use your own judgment for that. Um, like there's not a bit here where I can just tie in and follow through, but you know, that's okay. Because to be honest, you wouldn't know. And like I say, I'm just popping that over and that's okay, it's dry. Um, it's still a little bit wet on there, but not a lot. So it's great because it's sticky, you know, it's great, it stays in place. And these, you know, I, we use these for the whole project. Um, because it's chalk paste, I might throw it out afterwards. Um, I guess I could wash it, but I'm not great at doing that. Um, I wash my brushes and I take care of my brushes, but I'm a bit lazy when it comes to washing things like this. So hopefully now that's all good. So back again to my little spreader. Get a bit more white on there. A bit of green. A bit more white. And then I think what we'll do, I'm just I'm going to come down that way. So, it's all a bit random. Um, sometimes you can kind of overthink these things and then you kind of get annoyed with yourself because it didn't work. And I don't think, don't think that's necessarily true. Um, I'm putting more red in because I've got a bit more of the red here, so I don't want it to look too different now. Um, so I'm probably just going to go with a line here. I'm not going to... I'm just kind of press it down 
and, and the great thing because it's sticky it's not sort of really seeping underneath but you want to press it down into the the fabric you know into the denim into the fibers um, now I was blow drying that with a very hot um, hair dryer so I'm wondering if kind of probably partly heats at it to be honest um, I didn't put it on the curl setting And now I'm just literally dabbing completely at random now. Um, being even less careful than when I started out. Um, so I haven't really done this before. I've used, I have used chalk paste as a stencil, but I've never done it on clothes. So I'm literally, literally learning as I go with you lot watching. At the end of the day, when you're doing this for yourself, there's no right or, or wrong way. You know, practice on a spare scrap of fabric first, if, if that's what you want to do. If you don't want to ruin something, you know, your favourite jeans or, like I say, these jeans, um, they're my old summer jeans, so if they got ruined, it wasn't the end of the world. I've got plenty of other jeans in the wardrobe. Okie doke, right. I just thought I probably shouldn't talk while I do this because if I was quiet I could just in the video speed it up but I'm going to sound really stupid talking and speeding it up. Um, are we ready? Oh yeah. So that's it. I just, the, the cardboard is still underneath. It doesn't go through the cardboard actually with the denim. I did check, um, obviously denim so thick, um, yeah so that's kind of going around, that's the side seam, um, yeah kind of like that, won't really know until put them on to see what it's like, but yeah I'm, I'm pleased, I'm really pleased with the, the effect, really pleased with that, so I'm probably going to do the other leg now, maybe not as much, I'll, I'll see, I'll, I'll kind of try and work out where I'm going to go on the other leg just to kind of tie it in, but um, probably not as much as that. And yeah, and the good thing is I've kind of, typical, I haven't really covered the, the, the little varnish or glue stain that I had, but because of the pattern now, you can't see it. So that was, that was what kind of spurred me to do this anyway, this project. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you've learned something and I will show you the end product when I finish. Okay, bye. Okay guys, so here's my jeans finished. The light is not great because I'm facing the window. <laughs> Jeans are hanging over the edge of my counter there. Um, so, as you see, I actually smudged them. The hardest bit was actually when it's, the stuff's all over your fingers. Um, look, see my hand. Look, stayed a bit. So, I smudged a bit on the turn up there. Now oh, that's water there. Um, so, I had a detail there. Covered. Um, so, I'm just going around the back and just kind of up. That's my uh, right leg. Um, and then this is my left leg. And this sort of spinning around. I'm pretty much covered it, you might know it. And uh, kind of going around. I've got tins of paint holding up the jeans on the counter at the minute. They're kind of went around the back. So if you're really lucky, and I'm feeling really brave, I might model them tomorrow. But I'm not going to promise that. Um, but yeah, I'm really pleased with those. I think they're kind of cute. I say they're just my old summer jeans, roll up, turn ups, whatever you want to call them. And they're pretty faded and getting old at this stage, but yeah, it's kind of given them a bit of a new lease of life, so I'm really pleased with that. So, uh, any questions, obviously, comment, ask me, and uh, I'll uh, help out where I can. Okay, speak soon. Bye.